Each week we take you inside Cal High Sports with athletes and coaches who are outstanding for a variety of reasons. Yes, Robert, tonight we meet three high school coaches who were formerly part of the NFL. I sat down with Napoleon Kaufman, Keith Burns, and Mike Johnson to find out about their journey from the pros to the high school level and how they have created a league of their own. Nice to have you guys here. Um, I'm going to start with you, Napoleon. Talk about your playing experience, coaching experience, and where you are now. Well, I, uh, I went to Lompoc High School and played football there, uh, and then also uh, University of Washington, and then played for the, uh, the Oakland Raiders, and now I'm coaching and the head coach at uh, Bishop O'Dowd High School in Oakland. Grew up in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, played at the University of Arkansas under Lou Holtz, so obviously a legendary coach and now famous for his, his roles on ESPN. Uh, got into college coaching, coached all over from University of Southern California, San Jose State, uh, University of Arkansas, which is where I played, uh, and then had an opportunity to coach the Oakland Raiders uh, the last couple of years, and now I'm the assistant head coach and defense coordinator at Archbishop Mitty High School. Grew up in Baldwin Park, California, Southern California. Uh, went to Arizona State. Uh, then also the University of Akron. I uh, played five years in the Canadian Football League. And then got into coaching uh, with Mike Riley at Oregon State. I uh, coached there for three years. And then I coached with uh, San Diego, Atlanta, Baltimore, and here in San Francisco. And then back at UCLA. And uh, now I'm the head football coach at the Kings Academy High School in Sunnyvale, California. What is so enticing about being a high school coach? My career never led me to high school football, but it was my number one goal coming out of high school or in, in the college, the graduation, uh, was to get into high school coaching. I think it's the ultimate level of teaching, uh, the passion. There's nothing like Friday nights. The, the biggest thing for me is to help young men develop just like somebody poured into my life. I help shape their character. I uh, also uh, give them a spiritual side. I think there's no better place to mentor uh, young men than the football field. I think. Uh, Sports gives them a great avenue to develop a, a whole well-rounded person. We asked our Twitterverse to kind of give us some questions for you guys, and one of the questions was, what does it take to be recruited and to make it to that college or pro level? You're not always going to be at USC or University of Arkansas or Ole Miss where you've got to go and find the next guy. Uh, but to me, it's to be the best you can, start in the classroom, and then carry yourself with a, uh, I believe in the character. You know, if you, if you uh, have a great foundation at home, uh, the way you're brought up, whether it be your parents, your coaches, somebody that set an example of how you got to lead your life. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Because in the fourth quarter, uh, when it's win or lose, that's what comes out. It, not necessarily your ability, uh, but what you have inside of you and the foundation you have as a person. And you guys talked about the passion in the high school level. Would you say it's almost more fun coaching high schools because these guys live and breathe for Friday night? It's a, you, I thought initially there were going to be less pressure. Uh, but after our first loss, when it was 4 o'clock in the morning, I hadn't been to bed, it was no different. Uh, but I, I love the passion and the innocence uh, of a Friday night and what all comes into play. Uh, when you go to school on Friday, you can tell that it's Friday and it's game day. Yeah, I love the, the Friday night atmosphere as well. Uh, I've always said there's nothing like being on the sideline uh, Sunday afternoon in an NFL football game. I mean, the, the excitement, the passion, uh, the way those guys compete is it's, it's at the, the highest possible level. But on Friday nights, I, I still feel the same passions. I still feel the same uh, intensity to, to compete and, and to win and do those types of things, but to do it in the right way. Let's go out here. Let's have fun. Let's have a good time. I'm going to be yelling. I'm going to be screaming. I'm going to be running down the field. If you score a touchdown, let's, let's chest bump. Let's have high fives. Let's, I mean, some of you guys have seen me down there on the field. It's, it's going down. You know, it's, it's going to be a good time. We're going to have a lot of fun. So, yeah, I mean, I, I hope that we continue to build that, that Bishop doubt, and uh, that the kids at the end of the day realize it's a kid's game. Go have fun. All right, coaches, thank you so much for coming out, and we look forward to watching your high school careers as they continue. Thank you to the 49ers and Jared Moyla for hosting us and giving us the gorgeous owner suite to shoot, and all three coaches for coming down and taking the time to sit down and talk with us. Yeah, I love the shot with Coach Burns doing the, it's about a 4-4-40. He's running down the sidelines yeah, there. He's fast. He is fast. All right. <laughs>